All right, guys, sorry about the wind noise, but today is a very exciting day for me because I have bought my van a little Christmas present. Now, Christmas has already been and gone, but I was ill. So this is the first time I'm getting to do what I want to do. But it's already getting dark, so I've got to head over to my mum's house because that's where the present was delivered. So I'll see you there. drive here uh, it's taken me about half hour and it's already pitch black so I guess I better get some lights out so I'll show you what the little present is for my van let's crack on right the lights are all set up all ready and waiting now time to reveal the present as for the present as a car guy there are a few things in life that are more exciting than a day like today and that is because the present in question are in these four boxes. And these four boxes, I mean, they could be anything. They could be absolutely anything, couldn't they? Now, before I open those boxes and show you what the surprise is, you know, you probably guessed by now, um, I thought I would just tell you the new project car, I've already got it. It's not here. It's in a different location, but I've already got it. And I've already picked up a ton of parts for it. And that is gonna be coming to you very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. On top of that, I just want a big shout out to Just Campers. I'm not sponsored by Just Campers. I just went over there and I bought the tow bar that I used to go and pick up the new vehicle. And their customer service was second to none. They told me exactly which parts I needed, gave me a list of part numbers. I ordered it and went and picked it up in less than an hour. And I'm telling you now, that tow bar was up the easiest thing I've ever done on a vehicle. Literally six bolts and plug some wires in. And it worked perfect. Had absolutely no issues with it. I did about 300 miles picking up that, like, the, the nearly, nearly gave it away then, the project vehicle. And uh, yeah, it's been ideal. I couldn't ask for better. Thank you, Just Campers. I'll be ordering from you again. Now, before I show you these, I do wish I wasn't showing you them in the dark, but welcome to England winter, where it gets dark, like just, just gets dark constantly, all the time. Anyway, it goes. Oh, there's another box. Hang on, hang on. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, no, no, wait. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Right, this has got to be the last one. You ready? Go.
these and I don't think it even comes through on camera how good these look in person. These are sick. I mean, the van is filthy and they just, ah, oh, they look good and don't, don't, don't worry about that scratch. That's, that would be gone too. So, so this one too, just, just ignore the damage and look at the wheels. They look so good. I'm so happy with them. Right, I'm going to get the other side on and I'm going to tell you about these. <laughs> And there we go guys, all four wheels are on the van, my little present to my van. Which by the way, I don't think I've ever mentioned, this van's called Lucky. The original number plate had LKY in it, so it's stuck. So, the wheels. These are super metal, 18 by 8.5J. And they have two 3550s on them. Uh, supplied fitted, balanced, everything by rim style. They literally arrived in the box that you saw at the start of the video. I banged them on. Now we're gonna go drive in. So yeah, I didn't want anything too crazy. I just wanted the 18 inch. If I went up a size 19, 20, you start losing that comfort of the, the sidewall and every curb would be a nightmare. I've already got a car with silly wheels. I don't need that again. This is my daily driver. I drive this every single day. And uh, I just wanted something that looks smart that I don't have to worry about too much, like cleaning constantly. I mean, the state of this van, filthy. I'm not gonna clean these wheels every every five minutes, every, every time it rains. So now I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm dirty, but the van looks sick, even if it is absolutely filthy. I do need to clean it. But with this weather going on, I really can't be asked. I'll get it clean at some point. Obviously the paint works atrocious anyway. I'm probably gonna wash more paint off than I actually clean when I clean it. So tomorrow I'll get some better photos in the daylight and I'll post them at the end of this video. But for now guys, that's it from me. Have a very happy new year and I'll see you for the next project. Peace out.